In this presentation, we will enter data for the earnings records for August. Now, in the last... For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. presentation, we did the payroll register, which gives us the information uh, by employee per pay period. But we also need to track this information to sum up how much someone has earned during their time here. Uh, in, in other words, this will give us the information by employee on the payroll register for a particular pay period, which we need on the pay stub when we give someone a paycheck. We need to tell them, hey, this is how much you earned. This is how much we took out of it. There's your net pay. But we also need to know the year to date totals, which of course will be the same after the first pay period, but will differ later. In order to do that, we can't get that information from the payroll register we have to use an earnings report. Basically the same information, it's just gonna be formatted a bit differently. We put that over here, I'm scrolling to the right. So this is gonna be the earnings records. Now the earnings records oftentimes uh, will have, you know, the date and the social security number and the name, uh, the allowances on it. We're gonna make everything as simplified as possible just to line up to the um, earnings record to the payroll register so we can see this information and our main goal is really to see it uh, so that we can see what would be needed in order to fill out the pay stub as we enter this data uh, and, and pay the pay periods out. So what we're going to do is just pull the same information into each employee. It's, it's a similar worksheet. You can see the sub the titles are going to be much the same so that we can pull this over as easily as possible. We'll use formulas to do so. And what we're going to do now is, is not break it out by uh, pay period. It's by uh, the employee. So here's the employee. Here's the pay periods August, September, October, November, December. All we have is August so far. Here's the next employee, Cindy. Here's the pay periods. Here's the next employee. Here's the pay periods. So we're just going to fill up August for each employee. So if we scroll back up, we're just going to basically pull this information over. So the filing status for Anthony, if I scroll back over, I'm just going to pick up that same married filing status same number of allowances so all these are going to be in essence the same so if i go back over here i'm going to do this with a formula i'm in a b4 we're just going to say that this equals scroll all the way over and pick up that m for married in b5 and tab so in essence it's a formula going to b5 b5 now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up all the information for this month uh, for, for this month for uh, Anthony. Now if I scroll back over, it's all in the same format. So we've got the allowances, the regular hours, the regular pay. So we could highlight this whole thing and just copy it over. I'm going to do it with a formula. So we're, we're, we've got the formula picking up this cell. If we copy it to the right, it should just pick up the cell to the right of it. And we should just be able to pick up each cell. So let's see if we can do that. I'm going to scroll back over. And we're going to put our cursor on this cell. I'm going to right click on it and copy. Right click and copy. Now I'm not going to auto fill it across because I don't want it to change the formatting of the cells. I just want to copy the formulas over. So it picks up the formula but doesn't change the formatting. So then we're going to select from cell C4 or AC4 all the way over. Every cell after that. Go into net pay. Let go. So here's our selected area. We're going to left click or right click on the selected area. And then we're gonna paste it, not normal, because that'll paste both the formatting and the formulas, not one, two, three, because that'll give us the values. Uh, if we use just the formats, then uh, just the formulas, it should pull over the formulas and keep the uh, format of the cells. So we wanna paste the formulas. And so you can see what it did here. We still have the, the uh, regular hours now, uh, not having a dollar sign, having the dollar sign here, and having the cell centered. So that's, that's what we'll, the way we will do this. So it gives us the same information. We just pulled it over. We don't get to see the formulas over here this way, but the formulas are already calculated in the register, and we can just, we can just pull this information over. Now the benefit here, of course, is that on our, on our earnings records, we can give them the earnings for the time period, and we can give them earnings year to date, which is the same right now. It will differ later. Okay, so then we're gonna do the same thing. We did that for Anthony. We're gonna do the same thing for Cindy. 
So Cindy in August. So it's the first pay period for Cindy, AB11. We're just going to say equals. I'm going to scroll to the left and find her filing status, which is in B6. So B6, enter. So all we did is go to Cindy and pick up cell B6 equals B6. And then we're just going to copy and paste. I'm going to right click and copy, right click and copy. And then select everything after that from C, uh, AC11 all the way over to the net pay. Right click and paste it with the formulas, just the formulas. And there we have that information. So we'll, we'll do the same thing. Note the totals will be down here for, for Jill. Same information will be in AB18 equals. I'm going to scroll to the left. I'm going to scroll back up. We're going to pick up the S single for Jill. And then we're going to say, if we double click on that, we picked up equals B7. That's the cell. I'm going to right click on it, copy it. And then we're going to put in AC18 all the way over to AT18, right click and paste just the formulas. Then we'll do the same thing for Judy, last one. We're in AB25 August for Judy Jones equals, I'm going to scroll all the way to the, to the left, all the way up, pick up the married status related to Judy on the payroll register and enter. And then I'm going to copy and paste that all the way across. So we're going to put our cursor on AB25, right click and copy. Put our cursor on AC25, all the way to the end. Right click, and we're going to go to paste one, two, three. Or I'm sorry, paste formulas only. Paste formulas only. And there we have that. So if we if we were to sum this up, we could get a check figure then. Uh, if we were to add all this up. So if we go down to our totals down here, I'm just going to sum up for all of our uh, employees and see if that kind of matches what is over here. I'm going to scroll to the left, scroll to the right. So we have our totals down here. Uh, we could match that out right now, and that could give us kind of a check that this is in there correctly. So if we scroll back down, for example, if we go to uh, the third quarter totals, um, I'm, going to, I'm just going to go to totals for the year which is going to equal, I'm going to scroll up everything that we have so far for Anthony, plus everything we have for Cindy, plus everything we have for Jill, plus everything we have for Judy Jones. So there we have it. The formula is uh, AF9 plus AF16 plus AF23 plus AF30. Comes out to 48,719. If we scroll back over up here, we get 48,719 for regular pay. So let's do that all the way across and we can kind of double check some of our numbers. I'm going to scroll back down. Now the formula is going to be relative the same if we copy it, if we copy and paste it. So in a, if I copy this formula here, it'll pick up the same cells relative, meaning it'll pick up this cell, this cell, and so on. So what we'll do is I'll right click here, copy, and then I'm going to put the same calculation all the way across down here, from here all the way over. Let go. We're going to right click and paste. And we could just paste the formulas again. Uh, it shouldn't really matter. They're all dollar amounts this time. But we'll paste the formulas. I'm going to make these cells a little bit larger. And then we'll double check the main, here's the 48, uh, 890 for the uh, total earnings and notice SUTA earnings um, are the same but the FUTA is less so FUTA earnings are 20,896 so if we scroll back over double check that here total earnings 48,896 and the FUTA uh, 20,896 so that looks pretty good. If we look, if we look at our uh, net check for uh, for everything, kind of like the bottom line number, twenty eight two sixty six eleven over here on the register, and if we scroll back over here on the earnings record for everyone, twenty eight two sixty six. So that that can give us a little bit of a check. And note, we have to do this, of course, once again. 
so that this information for the totals each employee can be summed up and be on the payroll uh, pay stubs and reported. Whereas if we look at the register, we have only one pay period of information per uh, employee per pay period. So we have to sum that up uh, just a little bit opposite. Here we got the pay periods and then the employees in the payroll register. Over here we have the employees and then the pay periods. We're just kind of reversing that ordering to get uh, the summary data. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.